Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 17. Hey, if you want to follow along by downloading this workbook, click on my channel and then click on my college website and you can download this workbook with trick 11 to 22. Hey, in this trick number 17, we're going to see how to use the RAND between function. Hey, this is a great new function that will generate automatically random numbers between one and whatever upper limit. Whole numbers it will randomly generate. Now, you got to be careful if you're in 2007. This function is already installed. If you're in earlier versions, you have to click on the Tools menu, go to Add-ins, and then add in the Analysis Tool Pack. Oh, you should go do this immediately, because this Analysis Tool Pack doesn't just have RAM between. It has all sorts of amazing extra functions. Hey, let's click in B4 and type equals. Rand between equals Rand between. Look at this. All it needs is a bottom and a top. So I'm going to type 1, comma, 50, close parentheses. That function right there will randomly generate numbers, whole numbers between 1 and 50. I'm going to control 16. enter. And I'm going to see if I can scroll and get this on the screen here. There you go. And I'm going to point to my fill handle in the corner of this selected cell. And when I see my crosshair or angry rabbit cursor, I'm going to click and drag down, click, double click, and send it down. That trick works as long as there's something to the left or the right even. Now let's click in this last cell and hit F2. No way. That function got copied all the way down. Now you use your F9 key to recalculate the whole workbook. Look at that. F9 automatically generates random whole numbers. Now, if you're in earlier versions and you don't, for some reason, can't install that tool pack, here's the function that will work. Equals int, that's the integer function of rand times, let's say, 50 plus 1. This randomly generates a number between 0 and 1. Well, if it's close to 1 and you multiply it by 50, then it's almost the whole number 50. Now, adding this 1 is because sometimes this will come out to be 0. So this, this formula right here inside here will generate numbers between 1 and almost 50. Now, look at this. The integer is going to take this number with all those extra decimals, because there's 15 extra decimals with the ran, and take just the integer part. Now, watch this. I have the whole range highlighted. So now when I control enter, it'll populate all the cells. If I hit F9 for recalculate, it automatically uh, generates whole numbers. That'll work in any version. Now watch this. Here's another cool little trick. Equals int rand times 50 plus 1. Again, that'll work in any a version, and I want to say plus round, and I'm going to use that same function. Watch this. Here's a cool trick. When you're in the middle of edit mode, you can actually highlight a section of the formula that you want to use again. Control C, and I'm going to paste it right there because I want whole numbers right there. Oh, no, no. That's not what I want here. I want to add some extra pennies to the end of this, so I'm going to round the rand comma, two, close parentheses. That formula right there. Int, this thing generates the whole number part. This generates the penny to the penny part. Control Enter, and that automatically generates numbers between uh, 1 and 50 with some pennies on it. If I hit my F9 key, whoop, it recalculates that whole sheet. You can see that formula right there. That's for the extra little penny part and the whole number part. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.